All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about a couple of, well actually we're gonna talk about one microphone right here. It's gonna be called the, um, do, 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 I should know this, the uh, J-Lab, see if I can pull up that name, here we go. J-Lab, I don't even know what this thing is called, it's crazy. I actually got this from Best Buy. And to be honest with you, I kinda of just got it on the whim. I got this on the whim, I actually have a couple of microphones already. I have the uh, Snowball. The blue snowball which just runs for 50. Um, the only issue I have with this it doesn't have a physical mute button at all but it actually has pretty decent quality when it comes to recording sound. I got this one believe it or not uh, the Razer microphone this one's actually a uh, hundred dollars GameStop sells this but I got this bad boy for like 35 bucks at a pawn shop 35 40 dollars 40 dollars at a pawn shop um, not too long ago, got it in the box, perfect condition, which I'll do reviews on these two guys a little bit later. I have them hooked up to different computers, but this right here is the JLab Talk USB microphone. Now I know it sounds very simple. That's because it is. That's literally all the box says. And I'm not big on microphones. I don't know too much about them, but my thing is I don't mind trying different things, especially when I'm doing recordings on a PC. So we're just going to talk about this product, which is actually on sale. I got it. It's normally $99. Um, there's a $50 mic, and then there's a $149 that GLAT makes also that Best Buy. Take a look at them if you're interested. Um, again, I'm beginning when it comes to recording. So I'm going to just gradually keep buying different things, mics, different products until I find what I want to stick with. Anywho, let's talk about this guy right here. So it actually has four settings when it comes to sound, which I know my other mics don't have these settings. I don't know if this is really... A big thing for podcasters or anyone just recording off their mic but um, I did notice that it, has a, it does a better job of isolating noise depending on the option that I choose so the first one is looks like it says cardioid yeah I want to go ahead and say cardioid <laughs> um, this one is really good for the first option right here this one's good for gaming voiceover podcasting streaming I did notice when I use this feature it, it gets the sound from the mic itself is directly in the front for where I'm talking so it doesn't pick up a bunch of background noise around the sides. It doesn't pick up anything else. Um, sometimes my wife walks in and she'll have a conversation if we're playing a game together. And you can hear her voice perfectly when you use a different, um, what's the word, when you use a different uh, setting, of course. This one right here, the second one. Oh, I'm sorry. And when you look at the microphone right here, here's your four settings right here. So this is the how they look. These are the four settings. So you just turn it to get to each setting that you want to get to. So the first one would be card cardio I don't know what it's called. Uh, second one would be omni. Third one would be stereo. Last one would be bi-directional. And also, this is for the tone, I believe, right here. To turn it down. You can tell when it the light by changing it. Um, when you press it in, this is for the volume of the microphone itself. So to each their own when it comes to the microphone. Um, you need to just kind of just do a lot of test recordings just to make sure you get the right sound that you want. Again, I'm not a professional like this, so I'm just learning how to go with these microphones. Um, second one is Omni, right? This one right here. Uh, what I noticed is it says it does business calls, group streaming, group voiceover, multi-person podcasting. So I did a few videos, which I'll, I'll post them eventually. I'm not trying to do a game channel, but I'll post a couple things here and there. But I noticed that with my wife, which her computer, actually, let me... uh pull this up over here to give you show you her computer is actually over here right so when she's sitting over there at her desk what'll happen is her sound when she speaks it sounds as if she's directly next to me and i do like that feature especially if we're doing uh we're playing resident evil 8 village or resident evil village and when we picked up the sound like like uh it picked up the sound from the both of us without us moving the microphone too much. Like the mic was, if you look at my placemat on my desk, like my keyboard, well, I moved this over here for the video. Normally my keyboard's more in the middle. My mouse over here, where are you at? Over here, is actually right here. And then this stays over here in the corner. And it can clearly hear us from across the room, which is pretty good. And I, you know, it's, it's not that it's so much better than the blue microphone that I have over here or the Razer. It's just more so it gives me a little bit more options. Plus, I love the way it looks. You know, I'm a more I'm a visual guy when it comes to keyboards and different things. And that's why my wife bought me this creature over here for like a hundred and something dollars. I forget. I love the clicks. Here, let's do the clicks. 
I love those clicks. Anyway, let's get back to this microphone. Um, third option. So we're going to put it over here and just click it as we go. Third option. So the third option is going to be stereo. Now, I did notice when I use stereo and I'm talking to a couple of the guys, they say I sound kind of far away. And I guess that does kind of change. It did change the recording itself. Like kind of like if you have a background playing music or if you have... Yeah, if you have background noise or if you have it in the game, what I noticed a little bit was that my voice kind of faded more and I heard the stereo louder than my actual voice. So I don't suggest that when you're recording unless you're recording something around you, like in your surroundings. And uh, again, I don't really know what that one's for. I'm personally not going to use it. I normally stick to Omni or uh, the first one, Card Droid. I don't know what that is. Uh, I, don't even, I don't know if that's even a real word, but <laughs> I know we stick to the first two options normally for me. All right, so bi-directional. Well, this one right here, if you see it, this one right here, actually, if you look at the picture, I'll keep, I'll keep it up. This is typically if you're podcasting or having a conversation, right? And when you look at this mic, remember, look at it all the way around. It's nothing but a mic. It's not like these right here. Actually, no, this is the same way where this one has a mic right here mic in the back the blue microphone though uh it doesn't really pick up sound the same way as these so that's one of the reasons why i suggest mics that have multiple options especially a pause button like you can press this and and it turns red and you'll know that you're not recording because uh even if you're not recording for me I'll play Call of Duty or stream something and I'll totally forget that this microphone is, that the blue microphone is plugged up and everybody can hear my conversation about dinner and everything else and what I've been doing and I forget sometimes. So with this, I like the visual to be able to see, hey, um, no, make sure it's paused. Also, for the Razer microphone, this guy over here, I gotta get the name of it. I'll, I'll, I'll do a review on it later but and then I'll get the actual name of it. So this guy right here also has the option where when you, right now it's on. When you hit the button, that means that it's paused or it's turned off so that you no one else can hear your conversation. So again, I like mics with physical buttons that allow me to do that. I don't really care for the, the mics with no buttons. It's kind of low end to me in a sense. But again, I mean, different prices for different people. Eventually, I'll try better mics if my channel grows, which I'm definitely counting on that. I'll try bigger and better stuff as time goes on because I actually find it's really fun. Now, for anybody that needs to know anything about the recording sample rate, here you go. It's in the video right here. I can't tell you much about this even though I researched it. I am not big on this. Like I don't know the specifics on how well this does. I just know that when I tried out other mics that were better than this one, uh, instantly you can tell the quality of how, you know, when you first record with the mic, sometimes you can hear the keys that you're clicking. If you have a keyboard, you hear a little static in the beginning when it starts recording and then it adjusts to your voice. I did notice that better mics that I have tried, um, don't have that issue, of course. And again, I don't have a try a stand, I would say tripod. I don't have a stand or anything. It's just my mic is sitting as is. So it's going to pick up a lot of noise and a lot of static from time to time, especially with me moving around and swiping my hand and my elbows and key clicks and all that. So, uh, again, I like the mic. It's decent. I got, it's normally a hundred dollars. I got it on sale for at least $79 at target. It's pretty good. I like it. It has great sound. It, um, self-explanatory right here. This is the volume right here. Quick mute when you hold it, uh, the gain and volume controls, the stand comes with it. All you have to do is attach the stand at the bottom. So, when you get it out of the box, it'll be more like this, clamped together, and this is twist. This isn't twisted on. You have to put this inside and twist it and lock it in, and then you're good to go. Then it just comes out, place it wherever you like. Again, it has decent sound. I tried the recordings with this. Actually, matter of fact, let me see if I can um, play a recording for you guys to give you an example of what I was talking about when I say when I start up the uh, mic it has a little cloudiness and everything to it. So I'm gonna give you an example of how it sounds. Just give me a second. I normally, I don't like using the uh, quick commands on my computer. So I just use the Xbox controller to hit the home button. And it'll, actually no, I don't have to do that today. Normally I use the Xbox controller to hit the home button. 
And with it, actually, I'll show you guys. This is pretty simple. See if it does it right here. All right, so let me just put this up here. Let me hold this. So when I hit the home button for the Xbox, right, it brings up your recorder. That's for the, one of the reasons why I use an Xbox 360 or Xbox One or Xbox Series X controller, because it's easier to determine what I'm going to use for my microphone right now for the voice I'm using, the JLab microphone. Um, gives you the options to actually take pictures, screenshots. You can do recordings. You can mute yourself. So it's really, really convenient for those that may not necessarily. Well, I'm all, I'm all over the place. Here you go. So you can see it now. So this is the option right here to record. You can change the microphones that you're using. You can change what sound the speakers come out of. Um, you can actually turn off your mic when you're recording. So it only picks up the sound of the game itself. So it does give a couple options. Uh, again, I don't really use too many streaming apps. I just kind of screen record what I do and then just post a video. So teach your own. So anyway, I want to give you a little sample of... Um, what is it here of how this sounds let me turn to this mic right here so you can look at something nice there you go let me put that right there for you there you go you look at that beautiful mic right there all right so let me give you an example of how it sounds again it's not to me it's not professional compared to the ones that i've used with people that actually you know have high-end equipment this is cheap when i say cheap it's the, it's the low end of the microphone game so I'm not starting at the top just yet. Like, I don't have that type of money to waste. So let me just pull up how it sounds a little bit. I'm going to sing a little silly song for my wife. So you got static. Okay, there you go. So <laughs> I'm talking about, talking about my wife. Just testing out the mic. So, <laughs> so other than that, um, I like it. It's a pretty decent mic. And uh, hopefully anyone that's out there just going to Best Buy, you might see something on sale. Try it out. Try out this mic. Um, it might go back to $100, but it's okay for the price, uh, 100 bucks. You could probably find better. But remember, unless you're going to a recording store, I don't really do that. I just kind of go to the stores in my area. So I do like this mic. Um, try out the Snowball. This one is only $49.99. This was my first mic. And it actually records pretty well. I normally just plug it in when I actually need it because it doesn't have a physical uh button to actually stop records it'll just when it's plugged up it'll start recording if you're in a situation where you're streaming something or you're playing online or you know that's the only problem i have with that and the siri x it's something razor x I, I will record i will um get the right name for this um and review it a little bit later this is actually my most stable mic when it comes to sound my wife likes this one a lot she'll use it for her facetime calls when we're on the um, Mac over here. So anyhow, like, subscribe. Again, that's about it. See you in the next one.